Well, it is time for our Country Critter of the Week this week, and uh, Jane is in studio with us, along with our friend Emmett. And Jane, tell us a little bit of his story, because you and I have kind of been talking about it. Uh, somebody just wasn't very nice to Emmett. No, uh, poor Emmett. Um, Emmett is about eight years old. He is, so he's one of our senior, not as much of a senior as it used to be 20 years ago, because medicine is better for them just like it is for us but he came in all beat to heck bless his heart he had wounds all over his back end um that's why his haircut looks a little funny they had to shave him to clean him up it's not he a style had, choice <laughs> no, yeah yeah it's not a style statement either um he had entropic eyelids which are the underturned eyelids so we had all of that done got them all cleaned up Got some groceries in him, and he is such a love. He is very social. Um, he has a story to tell everybody. He's one of you know. He's like he's like the uncle at the wedding party that everybody <laughs> loves, but because he's got a story for everybody. Well, that would be Emmett. Um, loves to help on the computer, so you That's know. That's helpful. Yes, he take he takes that very seriously. So if you're working from home right now great time to go get him and he'll type out your paperwork for you. Um, he is FIV positive. Um, uh, FIV is one of those feline viruses. It's not communicable to anybody else but another kitty. Um, and then it has to be really severe circumstances. We used to think, oh, FIV can't be around anybody else but another FIV cat or something. It's turning out not to be the, not to be the case. So he is ready to go home. He gets along with other cats. The dogs don't bother him. He does not know a stranger um, in the human aspect. I mean, he's just, I don't have any negatives to say about him. He's just awesome. And he's handsome on top of it. You know, what more can you ask? He is pretty. Looking forward to that coat coming back in so he doesn't look like they tried to give him a kitty bowl cut over here. <laughs> yeah. um, but, I mean, you know. It's the, it's the COVID cut. <laughs> that's what it is. That was an at-home job. Um, <laughs> the thing about a cat like Emmett for me is that I have this big soft heart for any animal. If it moves, like there, there was a skunk in my yard the other day, and if it moves, I have a soft heart for it. Um, and kind of the same that's thing here. for Emmett as he gets the sneezies in here. Um, yeah, I had to dig him out from under a desk, so. Oh, he's Because he was exploring, so, yeah. But when you look at an animal like Emmett, he didn't do anything to deserve what happened to him. So somebody being willing to, to give him a home would just be the best. So if you've got that on your heart, you're looking for a cat, Emmett is your guy, and you can get all the details at WKKG.com. Reach out to the Bartholomew County Humane Society. They are still, and for the foreseeable future, appointment only. So get in touch with them before you stop by, but they'll let you come in, play with Emmett, play with his roommates, look at a dog if you really want to, that's on you. Um, but Jane, thanks for bringing him by. Absolutely, thanks for having us. And Emmett, thanks for sharing your little story. Yep. We will see you guys next week with the, the Indiana Country Country Critter here on 101.5 WKKG.